Hey, y'all, good morning, good morning. I feel so excited. There is a new guitar behind me. But for you guitar uh, gurus and genius, genius performers, you know that that is not a new guitar. But it is a beautiful guitar. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh, wow, that is cool. That is really cool. That is really cool. And uh, somebody told me that Mr. LJ snuck in here and brought it. He called and said, where are you? Where are you? And I said, I'm not here yet. <gasps> So he snuck and brought us a guitar. We have a lot of his music today because y'all know he's in the studio and he's trying to catch up on several things and he's trying to make progress and he's got about four songs done really well. He's got one that's whooping his tail and he's admitted that. So he's got to get him a banjo picker and he's got to get him a harmonica picker and he's got to get this and this and this and he's going to get that last one done. So. Today is a day no guest for a couple of days, and there's a reason. <gasps> COVID has been running around uh, with Dawn, Ansley, baby Zanna, and Uncle John. I was with them a week ago, but nothing, they didn't have it then. So everything was cool. Within two days, they all had full-blown COVID. So I've been staying clear and I've been staying kind of cool, calm, away from everybody, doing my own thing. And um, so far, knock on wood, seven days today. So it's all good. It's all good. I hope that if you are fighting this crazy Chinese junk that keeps coming back, coming back, coming back, you have an easy in, easy out with it. The baby was actually at the hospital, 103 temperature. But the weird thing is they send a baby from the hospital home with no medication because they said you just fight it off. And I thought, isn't that interesting? So she's a very healthy baby and um, no temp. Her temp's gone and she's feeling better. And um, there it is, there it is, that's COVID. That's what it's doing. And um, sadly, we know a lot of people who are still fighting this stuff, but uh-oh, we're playing music. Listen, you know who that is? <laughs> That's Archie Watkins. <laughs> I love it. Y'all are going to get some of that in just a little bit. So I love being able to just come to y'all. It is, it is so much fun for me because when we have guests and we have topics, then I don't get to do what I do. And y'all know that I love music. I absolutely love music. And I love reading and I love sharing a word and I've got to share this. It's so funny. One of my friends got this book over in Hall County and she was talking about what a blessing it was to her. Selena ordered me this book a year ago. She knew that I was really struggling and a lot of stuff going on that was taking me down and it just nigh did it y'all. Just nigh did it but whoo I'm back. I'm back. Thank God. Um, be still, seeking amazing grace within the mess life throws at us. And this is by Sarah Smart, and she is a cancer survivor, and that's why it was so important to Selena to share that with me. <clears throat> we all know that Selena went to be with the Lord. But today we're going to share a little bit of her music too. We're going to share some angel spirit. We're going to share some of the friend raiser that we did for our buddy Hans Rufert. But we're going to share some really cool stuff. This is stuff that I have on my iPad. Y'all, my iPads are full of really cool music. And you're going to get to see just down and dirty, easy going, you know, not dressing up, no sets, no nothing, just sitting around picking a guitar. That's the coolest stuff. That's the coolest stuff when you just pick up a guitar and you just start singing. We're going to get a little bit of that. We're going to get a little bit of laughter. And um, after watching it, I said, yeah, I think I can get by with this. We have to make you smile. This gloom and doom weather is getting folks down. And my precious Dawn has been in the bed since last Wednesday. She has been probably the sickest with the COVID and um, please say a prayer for her that she will be on the mend very, very quickly. And Uncle John is also, um, he's up on 382. She's over in Ludville and they're both kind of with the same symptoms and it's really, really been tough. And uh, I hope that they will both come out of this in the next day or so. It's time. It's time for COVID to leave here and be done with us. Leave us alone, darn it. 
Okay, tomorrow is election day, and I want to remind you, get to the polls tomorrow morning. They open at 7 a.m. Get out and vote your choice, and uh, it wouldn't be hard to figure out my choice. Everybody knows how I feel about my dear friends, and um, I just want you to vote. I want you to get out and vote and vote your conscience and use your common sense. And uh, when I look at the flags behind me, they were always behind me as I had my friend David Ralston across the room with me every year at the end of the year. And we always talked about the, the condition of the state of Georgia, the things that were going to happen in the state of Georgia, and, and how he loved the state of Georgia. And uh, he's responsible for those flags back there because he always reminded me of how important that flag was. And yeah, it, it truly is. We are still a free country <laughs> for now. We're still a free country, and uh, we hope that you will be able to uh, get out in the morning, get out early, go have you some breakfast, go over to LJ Restaurant and have a good old biscuit and gravy, or go by the Dairy Queen and have you a good old biscuit and gravy, and get out and vote, and exercise your right. Exercise your right. It is so very, very, very important. Today, I'm excited. I get to share some really cool stuff with y'all. One of them nobody's ever seen, and it's a funny, and we just had a good, good time gathering people together and laughing. Laughter is the greatest medicine of all, and right now we, are, we all need that. Everybody knows that Dawn battles depression, and she is now seeing a counselor, and last week because of COVID, she didn't get to go see her counselor, and um, I worry about her. You know, her sister's death put her into a slump for about two years. And then after that two years, she kind of came back, but then she's backsliding a little bit and she's really, really depressed. And so I'm going to ask you to say a prayer for her today. She is amazing. Um, she has fought so much. She has overcome so much. And um, we were working on a book called Dawn of a New Day and um, she decided she couldn't handle it. She said, um, too much, too, too real, too true too heartbreaking, can't do it. And I understand that. I understand sometimes when something really, really bad happens to you, you just have to put it away. You gotta put it away, lock it in a vault, do something with it. But that's when you need counseling because at some point in life, you have to deal with the things that have happened to you. And um, it, it happens all the time. The other night we watched a movie and it was about, um, they, a woman was murdered, shot in the head, and it looked like a suicide, but it really was a murder by her husband, and da-da-da-da-da. So, of course, I had nightmares, because that's the way Angela passed. And so, I, yeah, it was tough. It was tough. But we have to, um, we have to get it out of our heart. We have to remember the great times, the fun times, the good times. And early, early this morning, I was watching a program with Bill Sindard and Angela, and her laughter and her smile and her happiness and that was in 2010 three years later she was gone so you know if if you're having if you've hit a little slump if you're struggling um, I've done it I've been right there been right there didn't like didn't like it didn't like the way it felt didn't like being overcome by Satan because Satan is real if you think he's not look around you big boys it is, he is real he is real and he has come to conquer and destroy if possible if we allow him to do that but we've got to keep smiling we've got to keep laughing so today you're going to get some music you're going to get some laughter you're going to get some good stuff and I hope that it will bless each and every single one of you I hope that when the program ends today you'll say oh I feel good I feel I feel positive I feel uplifted I feel inspired and encouraged. You know, um, I sat next to Cherie Ralston about a week or so ago, and, and I remember thinking how strong she is because I became a widow at 50. I did not have the strength she has. I was really, really struggling, and from that struggle, I started staying super, super busy. I've always been super busy, but I got super, super busy. I got like triple busy. And it helped me. So find whatever works for you. If it's volunteering, if it's taking a painting class, if it is going to a counselor, whatever you need to do to bring that smile back because everybody loves to see a smile. You know, it, it's hard to see somebody that you love cry. So, so today we're gonna put our smile on and we're gonna be happy and we're gonna be um, getting healthier, getting healthier, drinking lots of water, trying to do a lot of protein. My hair's still falling out by the handful, which drives me crazy. 
but that's the COVID after effect, I'm afraid. And uh, all that big old thick poofy hair I used to have ain't there anymore. So we're working on it and we're trying lots and lots of protein, lots of vitamins, but so far it ain't happening. So, so we'll see. All right, y'all, we're gonna take a commercial break. And when we come back, we're gonna share some music, some fun, some laughter. We're gonna have Archie Watkins. We're gonna have um, Angel Spirit. We're gonna have Mr. Ella J himself, Dwight Sanford, although he's not back yet. He is struggling with that last song that I slapped on him, and he is like, okay, I want to make it my version. And I'm like, I'm right there with you. Make it your version, but make it. <laughs> so we'll see that soon. Here we go. Let's go to a commercial break. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. ETC TV3 is proud to present Georgia House District 7 runoff election coverage with updates every half hour starting at 7 p.m. on January 31st on Channel 3 and 403. Whether you're swimming in the sea, or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories. Writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Okay, we're going to have some music now, and you're going to have a little bit of Angel Spirit, you're going to have a little bit of Archie Watkins, you're going to have a whole lot of Dwight Sanford, Mr. Ella J, and I hope by the end of today, everybody is smiling and laughing and saying, man, I love this music, I love that music, I love it all. We have got to stay pumped up and positive because I know this weather can get folks down. And if you're in the construction business, God bless you because you cannot lay concrete on a, or lay concrete, pour concrete on a day like today. You can't lay blocks on a day like today. You can't roof a house on a day like today. So I know it's affecting a lot of businesses. So support those local businesses, support your local restaurants, support the things that keep us going during these winter months, these winter blah, ah, 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 ah months. Yuck. 
we're going to go to some fun music now. We're going to do some simple stuff, we're going to do some fun stuff, and we're going to do some things that might trigger a little memory for you, and I hope it's a good one. Here we go. Oh 
Okay, I promised you some fun, and you saw oh, even Mr. Perfect made a little bobble, and he laughed, and he smiled, and that's what it's all about, y'all. We got to start laughing. We got to start smiling. We got to get over this gloom and doom weather. I met with a contractor early this morning, and we're like, oh my gosh, this weather is choking everybody to death. From the surveyors to the electric poles getting moved, everything that needs to be done, you cannot do it in the rain, and they're saying rain for the next four days off and on, so yuck. Do not let it keep you away from the polls. Please go out and vote tomorrow. I will loan you an umbrella. I will come and take you to the polls if you don't have a ride. But do not sit at home and, and neglect our, I think it's our public duty. You know, I've, I've voted in every election since I became old enough to vote and uh, wouldn't miss it for the world. So, all right, y'all, we're going to go now to, to my precious, precious angel spirit. Um, Selena has gone on to be with the Lord. You talk about a hard, hard time for so many people. So many people loved her, loved her infectious smile, loved her positive attitude, and loved that she was always there for us. Um, there was never a time in my life that I called on Selena that she said, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do that, or I can't be there. I have another engagement. She always worked it in. She always made it happen. That's what life is about. When a friend calls, then you step up to the plate. When I asked her to come and do the show last year, and I haven't been able to re-air that yet because I'm not sure anybody's ready for that, she had a very positive outlook. She was smiling. She said, God's got this. Yes, God did have this, and God decided to call her home. But thank goodness we have all the amazing footage of Angel Spirit on stage time after time after time. This is from an event down in Jasper where we were raising awareness, raising money, and, and raising just, just encouragement for everybody battling cancer. Because Hans Ruford, if he made it, I mean, his percentage was less than 10%. The doctors said actually 1% he would live. And he lived. It's been almost 16 years, y'all. So don't let anything take you down and don't let the negativity of those around you destroy you. Be positive, be pumped up, be happy, and just do the best you can do to get through that little rough spot and it's all gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Be still and, and, and you will see that things will turn, the tide will turn. So here we go to sweet angel spirit. Um, Diane is gone. Selena's gone and Mildred is still here. So please say a prayer for Mildred because when she buried her sister and now she's buried her daughter, the days have to be hard for her. So please say a prayer for her. Here we go to Angel Spirit. My mother, Mildred Sewell, and I'm Selena Fields. And uh, quite honored tonight to have my twin girls here with us. So glad they're here. My brother, thank you for being here. Um, I guess our next song is going to be right on time. <laughs> Oh, 
for everything, but he'll be right on time, right on time. I just need to say a word, I guess. I've been sick so long, and it is just such a joy. I'm not at a good range of voice and all, but it is a joy to be standing right here doing what I'm trying to do right now. I want to thank everybody that has uttered a prayer for me, and I need your continued prayers, needless to say, but thank God I'm on the road to getting better, I think. And while we're at it, I know that this is in some relation to Hans. We're trying our best to uplift that young man. He has become so much a part of my life every day. I just can't wait to hear Sherry tell me how he is every morning. And I want him to know if this, if this goes to him, we are with you, Hans. You keep the faith, and we will too. Is there hope for tomorrow? 
The only thing I got to say about that, thank you so much. But Scott was talking about you just have to do what the Lord bids you to do. And I wouldn't want to be around you if you didn't. I ain't one bit ashamed of a tear. Jesus wept, you know that? Yeah. It's good for you. Down here, We're burning down here with cares of this life. Sorrows often overtake us, and we're burdened with strife. But some happy morning, when we get up there, we'll have. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, y'all go ahead and stand up for a standing ovation. That was great. Um, at this time, we'd like to take up a love offering. I'm going to ask Angel Spirit to stay on stage, and I want to talk to you for just a minute. Um, I ask that tonight, that when you give, that you give with this thought in mind. Once all the expenses for this singing have been paid, the rest of the money is going to that's what communities do. Communities come together, communities support those that they love, and that was a perfect example of the communities that we serve from Ball Ground to Turtle Town, coming out to support a young man that we absolutely uh, love. I've known Hans since he was four years old, and I think about looking back at how crazy life has been. He was a bit of a nerd. He was a bit of a, uh, you know, he, he collected all kinds of things. He looked into all kinds of things. He was, he was wise, wise beyond his years. And um, always been such a positive force. And, and that's what happens. Positive people get together and they support those people that they love. And uh, that was such a great example of our communities coming together. I want to read you something, and um, when Selena brought me this book, there were some really rough things happening, and I was, I was really, really battling a, a lot and um, trying to get through it. And, and I love this first line. This is in the introduction. It says, The Grim Reaper caught me but had to let me go. I had been redeemed by the King of Kings, and I was a daughter of the Most High. No death shall ever touch me. No death shall ever touch you once you have accepted the grace given to you by Jesus. 
The shackles of fear and death have come off. Victory is found in Jesus. And that was, Selena read this book as she was battling cancer. And then she shared it, she bought me a copy of it. And it is such a positive look at how do we, how do we get through life? How do we deal with this? And Donna and I have had these conversations a lot because um, when you've battled depression, when you've lost a loved one, when things have happened to you that shouldn't have happened to you, often you succumb to what Satan wants and he wants to destroy. Satan seeks to destroy and we're not going to allow that. So today's going to be a positive, fun day. Now we're going to share something with you. We're going to do one more song of Dwight and then we're going to share a little funny because Dwight Sanford is really, a, he's, he's great at music. I'm, you know, I'll give him credit. He's great. But when it comes to funny, he is funny as heck. And if I could, if I could just bring him one day and say, okay, no music today. We're just going to talk about memories and old folks and old friends and just make people laugh. That would be a fun, fun day. So far, I haven't been able to get him to give in to that, but I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. So now we're going to go to one more song by him, and then we're going to share just a little blippet of some fun we had together uh, with a whole bunch of y'all last year. An only child alone and wild, a cabinet maker's son, whose hand His heart was known to none. He left his home and went his own and solitary way. He gave to me a gift I know I never can repay. A quiet man of music denied a simple faith. He tried to be a soldier once, but his music wouldn't wait. He earned his love through discipline, a thundering velvet hand. His gentle means of sculpting souls took me years to understand. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
with a chauffeur at the wheel, dressed up so fine. I'll never love another. My heart and all of my dreams are with you. Is that not cool? Do you not love the way that works? He can just sit down and pick up anybody's old guitar and just flip out a song. How many folks can do that? Well, I know this one can't. <laughs> I know this one can't. We're going to take you now to some funny. And it was pretty funny. And I uh, had a, a bunch of folks enjoying some time and some music and uh, a little bit of laughter. And a little bit of laughter is not going to hurt anybody. So we're going to take you now to what I think Dwight Sanford does best. I think he just needs to be on stage somewhere entertaining folks with stories about them olden days. Because there's a lot of cool olden days that happened in these mountains of LJ. Here we go. Speech impediment. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. He'd say, I'd run you my crutch when you're <laughs> Oh, Arlen over there can take you some good ones, too. I know. You didn't haul no moonshine, did you, Arlen? Five years. <laughs> <laughs> In a green and white 56 Ford? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Me and Arlen hauled enough carpet to California to cover the whole state. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. It was the summer of 72, and uh, Ronnie had his 57 Ford. He had a 57 Ford with a 351 Cleveland. And I don't know what in the world they'd done to that engine, but it was a jet plane, all right? I heard after that that, uh, that uh, what's that? Ernie, Ernie Elliott had built it, what I heard, and I don't know if that's true or not, but it's believable because that car would scream bloody murder. And they... I was a little old boy, I was 16. We used to hang out at the service station over here. It was called the Inco. They changed it to the Exxon later. Yeah. Inco, ain't that right? Uh, it was the Esso. Esso, that's what it was. Yeah. Esso station, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And we was hanging out there, everybody was. And, uh, old, uh, I didn't know what was going on. T.C. Carringer and Dewey Sellers. And uh, I think Jimmy Bryant was in on it. Ronnie Cancer went out there and cranked up his Ford and brought it out there. He won trophies with that. He'd go over there somewhere racing and win trophies with it all the time. And uh, <clears throat> so the Ford cranked up and it rattled the windows and every damn plane building around that plane boy. He pulled up in front of the station just right there, okay? And them three grabbed me. TC, Dewey Sellers, and Jimmy Bryant grabbed me. I was a little greasy-headed boy, 16 I was. They put me in the car with Ronnie Cantor and slammed the door and the rubber started burning. Lord have mercy. We went up to Main Street right there. Used to be the Ford place right there where Regions is. Yeah. And uh, he grabbed second gear and my seat broke. The back of my seat broke. I went plumb in the back seat just flying. And so finally I got up. We got up there to traffic light and I got up and I was holding under the seat, uh, the dash then. He took me out the uh, car to K. 52 East. Oh boy. It was a sight. It was a sight how we went out through there. Ronnie was a little old bitty short guy. He didn't drive like we do. You know, we drive like this. Ronnie didn't drive like that. He, he got up on the edge of the seat and he drove just like a little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> but he could drive. He could drive. Is he still alive? Um, yeah. He's still yeah. alive? Yeah, he is. I ain't seen him in a long time, but he's still a little short. Now. I know it. Yeah. And, uh, we hit Drunkard's Spring Curve out there. I remember we was running 115 miles per hour. And it's, it let go. The car was coming around, you know. It, it lost traction. He busted that Cleveland to the bottom right there, and it surged forward so fast with such a surge that it pulled it back straight 
and we went up through there like a blue sky. He knew how to drive that car. Yeah. Scared me to death. I saw Jesus many times doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't you love old timey, old stories, old stuff? <clears throat> we need to get together a bunch of these guys who were the engine builders, the the guys who haul moonshine, the guys who who made these mountains rumble, truly rumble with the crazy things they did, and they all lived to tell it. So how cool is that? You know, Pickens County had some of their drivers that were a little bit wild and, and uh, a little bit rough. And I happened to be married to one of those. And uh, J.S. had a wreck up here in Gilmer County one night. He was driving a 57 Ford, and he might have been flying. He probably doing about 120, 125 when he hit the curb. And he came out of that car as that car went end over end and rolled. And he's sitting in the emergency room, and the Georgia State Trooper came and said, Son, how fast were you going when you wrecked? And he said, Frontards or backwards? And the guy just had to laugh. Lucky to have lived through some of the craziness those boys did, but they loved building cars, they loved driving fast, and many of them did learn, just like NASCAR. It was built because guys who had been hauling moonshine knew how to build the engines, knew how to do the rear ends, knew what to do to make it magical, and that's where NASCAR was born. Pretty soon it's going to be NASCAR season. It is one of those seasons that I will, of course, watch Chase Elliott because love that kid, but will always miss the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt. Dale Earnhardt was it. He was all about racing. He was the one that got us through everything that we loved. We loved to see him do what he did and come out on top. It was just amazing. And uh, there's so many stories in these mountains. I'd love to get some of you guys together and uh, bring Dwight out here and y'all just sit down and talk, 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 talk about racing. Okay, I promised you some Archie Watkins. So we're gonna do, Archie is kind of semi-retired. <coughs> Excuse me. But the, the younger inspirations are doing amazing. But we're gonna go back now to the older guys. And we're going to do a couple of songs by them. And this, this is Archie Watkins and Smoky Mountain Reunion as it formed with the old inspirations. No sorrow nor pain will we ever know there. And the body we'll have in the Savior's own likeness. And the mansion he said he would go to prepare. What a wonderful time we'll have a big glory. With the blessed Redeemer forever we'll be. And the crowning will be here from that great judgment for me. For the happy reunion, heaven and
here's my favorite verse. Oh, I long to see my Savior's face and see that story saved by grace. Then why? that golden strand I'll praise him for his guiding hand I'm trusting to the unseen hand that guides me Wow, 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 wow. Nobody will ever beat the original inspirations. They were so cool. They were so good. They were so amazing. You got to see a little bit with Mike Calkin when he hadn't been with him in a few years. <clears throat> and a lot of people in Jasper know that Mike Calkin and Diane Green actually were with another group together as teenagers. And that's what it's about. Step out and, and share your talent. Do what you can do. And now Mike is doing evangelist preaching and doing some music and just continues to carry that legacy of, of just great music and, and great sharing of the, um, the Word of God. And he continues to do that all the time. So I love getting to go back with this stuff. And thank you to Archie for bringing me those. Archie Watkins is one of those, you never forget him, you never stop caring about him. He and Cindy are just precious, precious folks. And uh, when, it, when they're able, they do still get out and do some shows, do some events. You can pick up the phone and call them or go to their Facebook page. But uh, Archie is one of those good ones and um, such a blessing to call him friend. Now, I'm gonna ask y'all one more time to say a prayer to get this COVID out of here. Dawn is struggling, Uncle John is struggling, baby Zanna and Ansley are doing better, but um, this stuff is nasty. It attacks different people different ways, and it doesn't matter if you've been vaccinated, not vaccinated, so many people have been vaccinated and are getting it and getting worse cases than those that weren't vaxxed. It's just very, very weird. So you deal with it the way you feel, feel and see fit. I'm dealing with it by trying to just kind of stay clear of everybody that had it and um, hoping that I will be, it's been seven days today and I'm, you know, no problems, no issues, so I think it's all good. I am doing some new meds from the doctor and I can tell you, don't like the way it tastes or smells, but it's supposed to be helping my lungs and I think it might be, maybe, we'll see. We've got a two week trial on it and um, gonna see what happens you know as spring comes so does the pollen and then I know I'm gonna have some problems and um, have just been struggling dealing with it and it happens and you just think do you ever grow out of this mess do you quit being allergic to stuff I don't reckon because I'm allergic to more now than I ever was before so I don't know how I can be allergic to anything else there ain't much left so remind yourself put a note on your phone wake up at 6 a.m 
No, laugh. You're supposed to laugh now. Wake up at 7.30. Get up, have your breakfast, then go to the polls and vote. I'm not going to make you get up at 6 o'clock to go vote. But please do remember to vote tomorrow and to vote common sense. Vote your conscience and vote for the person of your choice. And I hope that you will exercise your right and not forget, not neglect, and not say, oh, it's only one vote. One vote can count in this election. This election is probably the most important thing that ever happened to North Georgia because we have continued a great legacy of doing well and growing and with a, a compromise that could take us down if we are not growing in the right direction. And we want to do um, preserving the past and planning for the future. And that's what it's about. So, all right, y'all, we're going to leave with one more song. And y'all can just choose anything you want to play in there, guys. Pick up a Dwight one, pick up an Archie one, I don't care. But we want to leave, leave you with a little bit of music because if music is in your soul, happiness is in your heart. Please don't forget the Angel Spirit families. Please don't forget Selena's children. Please say a prayer for them. Please don't forget Rick. He is he is lose he lost the love of his life and he's dealing with a lot. And a sweet Mildred. So please say a prayer for them. Here we go with a little bit more music. There's a sweet and precious mother. Sitting in an old rocking chair She is looking out that open window And on her lips this servant's prayer Oh dear God, I'm all alone Won't you send my children won't you touch their hearts and make them understand? I know they're busy as can be with their homes and family. But won't you ask the children, Lord, to visit me? It's a sad, heartbreaking, lonely picture. Of a mother just waiting to die All alone without her children Surely God will hear her prayer Oh dear God, I'm all alone Won't you send my children won't you touch their hearts and make them understand? I know they're busy as can be with their homes and family. But won't you ask the children, Lord, to visit me? I know they're busy as can be with their homes and family. But won't you ask the children?